Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is chapter 3 of my Azure Cloud Shell web series. And today we are going to discuss how to use Azure Cloud Shell from your local machine using Visual Studio Code. So let me first launch my Visual Studio Code. To begin with, I'll click on this extension icon on the left and start typing Azure account. We need to install this extension. So I'll click on install button here. Once the installation is complete, I'll click on reload to reload my current session. The Azure account extension provides a single Azure sign-in and subscription filtering experience. That means you can easily filter out all your Azure subscriptions and access your Azure Cloud Shell service from Visual Studio Code integrated terminal. On Windows, this extension also requires Node.js. So if you don't have that already on your machine, it may prompt you to install that. Once the installation is complete, I will simultaneously hit Ctrl, Shift and P to launch the palette and select Azure Sign In. In the bottom right corner, you will see there is a sign in option available, which provides an authentication code, which we will copy and open in a web browser. Now I will paste this code in this text box and it will identify my Visual Studio code. I click on continue and select my subscribed email. This will complete the authentication and I can close this browser now. Once you are properly authenticated, at the bottom of the Visual Studio code, you will see my subscribed email. I can also click this email and select my subscription details here. So for now, I have only one pay as you go account. In case I have multiple subscriptions, I can select them from here. All right, so I'll hit Control Shift and P again to launch the palette and I'll select Azure Open PowerShell in Cloud Shell. Once I select this, you'll notice it has started to request Cloud Shell and it is trying to authenticate it to Azure and it will start building my Azure drive onto my local machine. Once that is complete, you will notice your current working directory is now Azure Drive. This exactly works like Azure Cloud Shell in your Azure portal. That means if I do get child item, I can navigate my subscriptions and resources. And it will give me the results from my Azure portal. Until this point, we saw how I can use Azure account extension in Visual Studio Code to open Azure Cloud Shell in my local PowerShell console. But there would be a couple of scenarios where you may want to access your file share available as a cloud drive in your Azure Cloud Shell on your local machine. In order to do that, you have to first go to your Azure portal. So I'll go to my web browser. I have already opened Azure portal here. Now I will go to my resources. Then to my storage account, which has been mounted as a drive on my Azure Cloud Shell. I'll click on this file button here, which will open my file share. And inside the file share in the top left corner, you will see a connect button. Click that button. And on the right hand side, you will notice a blade will open. From here, you can choose a drive letter. So let's suppose I will choose alphabet P here. Now I can copy this PowerShell command from here and go back to my Visual Studio code, clear my screen, paste this command here in the editor window and run it. Once the execution is complete, you will notice a new PS drive has been mounted on your local PowerShell console. So if I change directory to this particular drive, you will notice it has a .ps cloud shell folder, which is exactly like the folder you have in your Azure cloud shell. So what I'll do, I'll try to create a folder and a file inside this. Let's see if that reflects in my Azure cloud shell or not. So I'll go inside .ps cloud shell folder. I will make a directory named test. Now I will navigate to this directory. So I'll do a CD test. Once I am there, I'll quickly create a PowerShell file with a string, hello world. Then I will pipe it to out file and give it a name test.psv. So let's jump back to my Azure portal. 
and launch the cloud shell. Meanwhile, it is authenticating. You can also browse the folders here. You can see the directory which we just created and the file test.psy. I can also get content of this file from, from my cloud shell. So I'll do a get content to my home directory. Then inside the cloud drive, I'll choose the PS cloud shell folder. And inside that we have a test folder and the name of the file was test.ps1. So if I do a get content, you will see the hello world string. This is from the file which was created on my local machine using Visual Studio. So guys, that's all from my side today. In the next chapter, we would look into what is Azure Drive, how it is mounted to your Azure Cloud Shell, what under the hoods work to build your Azure Drive. If you love watching my content, don't forget to like this video and subscribe my YouTube channel. This is a huge motivation for me to create more such videos. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching.